Hello students, welcome to Engineers Academy. Do hit the subscribe button if you are here for the first time. Now let's solve this problem from chapter 3, Vector Mechanics for Engineers by Bear and Johnston. The problem says that it is known that a vertical force of 200 pound is required to remove the nail at C from the board. As the nail first starts moving, determine the moment about B of the force exerted on the nail. In part B, it is said that the magnitude of the force P is required that creates the same moment about B if angle alpha is 10 degrees. And in part C, it is said that the smallest force P that creates the same moment about B. So first of all, in part A, we are required to find the moment of a vertical force of magnitude 200 pounds, which is required to pull this nail out so we need to show that uh, 200 pound force so that 200 pound force is going to act in this direction this is 200 pound and we are required to find the the moment of this 200 pound force about this point b in order to pull that nail out at c so for the solution of a which is simple we need to find the moment um of the 200 pound force about point b so that will be equal to 200 multiplied by the moment arm so this is the 200 pound and the moment arm from that point b is this distance which is four inches so 400 multiplied by four this will give us 800 pound inches moment and as we can see that this 200 pound force is going to produce the moment about point b in the clockwise direction so we can say that this is minus 800 pound inches now in part b it is said that find the magnitude of this force p in order to have that same moment which is produced by this 200 pound force about point b so now there are two methods to solve this uh, part b either we can resolve um this force p into its horizontal and vertical components or we can resolve this force p into components parallel to this a b and perpendicular to this a b so we will we will solve we will find the magnitude of this force p using both the methods so so the first method is that we will resolve this force p into the horizontal and vertical components this angle alpha is given this is 10 degrees so if this angle alpha is 10 degrees we can resolve this force p into its two components it will have one component in this direction and it will have one component in this direction so this component will be the horizontal component will be the cos component so we can say that this will be p cos of alpha and this vertical component will be p uh, sine of alpha so alpha is 10 right so we can add this is p sine of 10 and that one is p cos of 10 degrees now we need to write uh, the moment produced by these two components so uh, this p cos of 10 is producing the clockwise moment about that point b so we are assuming that the clockwise moment is positive so the cos component is producing the clockwise moment so it is producing the negative moment so we will write p cos of 10 and the perpendicular distance of this component or we can say that the moment arm of this component from that point b is this and we are given the the length of this a b which is 18 inches so we can resolve this 18 inches into its component since this uh, part of the system is making 70 degrees with the horizontal so we can say that um, this a b is um, will have two components it will have one component in this direction like this and it will have one component in this direction so if this a b is making 70 degrees so then this one is the sine component and this one is the cos component so now the perpendicular distance of this cos component from that point b is this which is the sine component of this 18 inches so we can say that the moment arm of uh, this cos component from that point b is this distance which is the sine component of this 18 inches so we can say that this is minus t cos of 10 into 18 sine of 70 degrees and similarly this sine component is producing the counterclockwise moment about this point b 
and the moment arm of this sine component from that point b is this distance which is the cost component of this so we can say that um, plus since the sine component is producing the positive moment that is the counterclockwise moment so we'll write plus p sine of 10 degrees and the perpendicular distance of this p sine of 10 from point b is 18 cos of 70 degree let me draw that um, this is that point b this is that point a and the distance between point a and b is that or we can say that the length of uh, that the length of this bar is 18 inches so it is making 17 uh, 70 degrees and that force p is making uh, 10 degrees here so if we resolve this into its components it will have this component this one will be p cos of 10 and it will have one component like this this one will be p sine of 10 and now we can say that um, so this is the this one is this is 18 inches and this 70 so then this is 18 sine of 70 degrees and this one is 18 cos of 70 degrees so now as we can see that the perpendicular distance of this cos component from that point b is this so this is the moment arm of this component and the moment arm of this component is 18 cos of 70 so that's why i'm writing here 18 cos of 70 and 18 sine of 70 degrees and the problem says that we need to find the magnitude of this force p in order to produce that same moment produced by that 200 pound force so this moment will be equal to this moment so we can say that this is equal to uh, minus 800 pound inches so now we can take uh, 18 p common from both of these terms so we can write that this will be 18 p this is minus cos of 10 sine of 70 plus sine of 10 cos of 70 equals to minus 800 so now we can write that this p is equal to minus 800 divided by 18 and everything which is inside the brackets that is minus cos of 10 sine of 70 plus sine of 10 cos of 70 so this will give us that force p magnitude this gives us p magnitude equals to 51.32 pounds so this this much force p is required at an angle of 10 degrees in order to produce that same moment which is produced by that 200 pound force about point b so this is that p force magnitude now this is the first method now the second method is that we can resolve this force p into its components along this a b and perpendicular to this a b so now let's resolve this force p into its two components so one component will be uh, perpendicular to that a b arm and one component will be parallel to that a b arm so for that we need to resolve um, we need to have the angle of this force p with the bar or we need to have the angle of this force p with this perpendicular line to that a b bar so somehow we need to find this angle or we need to find this angle in order to resolve this force p into these two components parallel and perpendicular to that uh, bar a b so let's say that this is p perpendicular and this one is p parallel to the to the bar a b so now as we can see that this bar a b is making 70 degrees with the horizontal so if i draw a horizontal line here so this angle will remain the same if this is 70 this is 70 since both of these angles are alternate angles this is 70 and this angle alpha is given which is 10 degrees this is given this is 10 degrees so if this is 70 then this angle will be 70 minus 10 so this is 60 so we can say that that force p is making uh, 60 degree with that bar a b so now we can resolve this uh, we know the angle of uh, 
this force p with this bar a b which is 60 degrees so this p parallel will be p cos of 60 degrees and this one will be p sine of 60 degrees so now we can write that p parallel is this is p parallel is p cos of 60 degrees and p perpendicular is p sine of 60 degrees the component with which the angle is made is always the cost component remember so now uh, we need to find the moment of this uh, force p or we need to find the moment of these two components of that force p so now as we know that this cos component is passing through that point b so its moment arm from that point b is zero so its perpendicular distance from that point b is zero so only this component is producing the moment about that point b so we can write that p this is the solution for part b but this is the second method let me write that this is the second method so p sine of 60 degree and the perpendicular distance of this component from that point b or we can say that the moment arm of this component from that point b is this the length of the bar which is 18 so multiply by 18 and and this is um this component is producing the clockwise moment about that point b so the clockwise moment is negative and this is equal to the moment produced by that um, 200 pound force in part b so the moment produced by that 200 pound force at c so that is minus 800 so we will equate this to minus 800 so minus will cancel out and from this we can say that force p equals to 800 divided by sine of 60 into 18 or we can say 18 into sine of 60. So 800 divided by 18 sine of 60. So this gives us that same force p. So p equals to 51.3 so this is how we can um, find the moment of force p using this method and using this method and we will get the same force p of magnitude 51.32 now in part c it is said that uh, determine the, the smallest force p that creates the same moment about b so in order to produce the smallest uh, in order to have the smallest force p that will create that same moment which is produced at b by that uh, 200 pound force this force p need to be perpendicular to that a b link so now let's draw the diagram for for part c so let me erase this force p and let me erase this angle alpha since they are not required for the smallest force p so that for the smallest force uh, p in order to have that same moment about b that force p must be acting perpendicular to that bar a b so then this will be that force p which is required and now we know that uh, since this bar a b is making 70 degrees so we will have that 70 degree angle here so this is that 70 degree and uh, this is perpendicular right so this is 20 degrees so if this force p is making 20 degrees with the horizontal this will be the smallest force p for producing that same moment of 800 pounds so now we can say that for part c we can say p times the moment arm so p into the perpendicular distance from that point b is 18 equals to that same moment of minus 800 and similarly this force p is also producing the clockwise moment so this is minus and we can say that this p force is equal to minus 800 divided by minus 18 so minus 800 divided by minus 18 gives us 44.44 so p equals to 44.44 pounds so this is that smallest force p which will produce the same moment about point b and this force p must be making 20 degrees with the horizontal and it must be perpendicular to that link ab 
in order to have its smallest magnitude so this is the solution of this particular problem i hope all this discussion will help you in your learning please let me know in the comments uh, if this discussion helps you in in your engineering statics learning do subscribe engineers academy for the solution of such more problems from vector mechanics for engineers by Bear and johnson